eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, cause I wanna see you. I wanna see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord Open the eyes of my heart Cause I wanna see you oh, I wanna see you To see you This is my family. My sister Brenda, rest in heaven. My sister Edith, rest in heaven. My brother Bobby, rest in heaven. And still with us is my baby sister Darlene Harrington, my sister Elaine, my sister Esther, and my brothers that I love so much, my brother Junior and my brother Kenny. We are blessed family. My favorite time of the year is Christmas because it all started in 1962 when I was born in Columbia Hospital in Washington, D.C. My parents, Mother Evans and Father Evans, gave me an opportunity to be on planet Earth. And I'm so blessed, you know, to have this first opportunity to honor my family in this movie. Hope you enjoy it. This is my little son, Amos Evans, growing up giving to the homeless. It was so important to me to show him how to show acts of humanity to those less fortunate. Now he's grown. He just sang the song that opened up this movie, Open the Eyes of My Heart, Lord, because I want to see you. Now the same little lad growing up is a grown man, and he's still giving. take that same blessing of giving, caring, and sharing to the next generation, to all my nieces and nephews that I'm so, so proud of, that's taken our family name and our heritage and our generation of love, passing it on. Stephen, Paul, Tion, keeping our family generation name alive. My sister Brenda, the most kindest, humblest, sweetest person on planet Earth, rest in paradise. You know, um, this is the reason why I started my network, Pick TV Network. 
because of my sister Brenda. I wanted to do something to keep her legacy alive. And um, I wouldn't even be able to make this movie presentation, this narration of the movie, if it wasn't for Brenda. She is the heartbeat of Pick TV Network. And um, definitely want to give her love in heaven and resting in paradise. When God blessed me with my baby sister, Darlene, oh man, we literally grew up together uh, and her birthday, my birthday, right next to each other. We are, I mean, David and Darlene, I am the baby boy, she's the baby girl, so I always had a a special, special um, protection of my baby sister. Even until today, I always make sure she's all right. You know, and um, I love my baby sister so much. She will always be my baby sister. Until I breathe my last breath, she knows that my special love for her and the holiday season and so proud of her husband, Daryl, and Evan, Jada, Jared, all of the kids. You know, um, it's a blessing to see our family and to see our um siblings and be able to love on your your baby sister. That's that's it's nothing like it. Love you, darling, you know that. Happy holidays everybody. Uh, okay. Christmas mashed potatoes. Christmas. A lot of people don't know why I cook a full family meal during the holidays every year. I do this in honor of my mother and father. Mother Evans and Father Evans always cook all night long on Thanksgiving and on Christmas and the New Year. I will wake up three o'clock in the morning, my mother's still in the kitchen. Four o'clock, my mom is still in the kitchen cooking. And that tradition is why I do it. It doesn't matter whether I have a house full of people or just a few people. I just enjoy my moment of cooking a full meal like this and honor my parents. And I'll keep doing it. And I won't stop doing it because this is the way I really enjoy a special part of my holiday, honoring my parents with a big meal. Even though they in heaven and we still here on the planet, I still will remember the special moments my mom was in that kitchen and my dad had all the food for us. So that's why I cook a big meal. One of the things I do over the holidays, and I started this four years ago, is called Project Smiles, where I get toys and I give them away to families. Um, 
we adopt a family and we give away toys, we give away gift cards, and we give away um, a little um, food too, just to help people. So it's called Project Smiles and um, yeah, we uh, always love to do this during this time of the year because there's a lot of families in need and um, we just try to help uh, a few and um, it feels good when a kid get a toy and um, one of the kids last year said this is the best day of my life and we gave him a bicycle we gave away some more toys and um, it's, it was an amazing amazing moment Project Smiles Wow, how can I ever, ever thank my sister Esther who taught me how to cook spaghetti, taught me how to, try to teach me how to swim. My sister Esther is just a lady of love and she's, she's the dancer of the family. She's the energizer bunnies, always moving and making people feel good. She's a ball of love, named after my mother. Our mother, Esther Evans, I love her so, so much. She is the queen, and um, she is uh, a lady that I really, really thank God for my sister Esther. I give her super hugs when I see her. of the greatest when it comes to sports in our family. Basketball, singing, playing instruments. My brother done, done, done it all. You know, um, my brother Bobby, um, everything I, I, I look at when I look at his life, I see those traits of um, gifts in me, the music, and it's passed down to Stephen and Amos. You know, um, the sports, my nephew, Evan, you know, Jared, the sports side of Bobby. Um, I mean, Evan even looks like Bobby, so Bobby is just a jewel. He still lives in us and rests in paradise. You know, my brother Bobby is um, a strong warrior, a king. When it comes to defense of the family, you only need to call Bobby one time and he has the whole military right there. He's gonna make sure nobody mess with his family. Rest in peace again. Rest in paradise, my brother Bobby. If there was ever a queen on earth, it is Edith Evans, my sister. She is the person who makes sure everybody in the family understands that God is first in what we do. She's also one of the best cooks in our family, one of the best drivers. I can remember Edie driving down North Carolina, Fayetteville, Red Springs every summer. We would get in the car with mom and daddy and all of my, my brothers and sisters. We'd pile up and we'd go see our people down south. Edie was always there. And even in her times of not feeling 100% in her body, she never complained about her sickness. Even until she made her last breath, she was still praising God. Rest in paradise, Edith Evans, Queen Edith Evans. When I think about 
a heartbeat. I think about my sister, Elaine. She's always there to make that her family is okay. You know, um, if anything uh, happens, Elaine is always there to pray, always there to protect, always there to provide. She's the rock of our family. And it's a blessing to have a sister around. You don't have to ask twice. She's right there. This is the ultimate reflection of a family love. You know, happy holidays. And um, I love my sister, Elaine. She's already, know- she knows that a million times. She already know. reflection of my dad, the strong one of the family. My brother Kenny's going to find a way to get up early and get the job done. Um, My brother Kenny, football linebacker, 52, and um, he's always the first one there, the last one to leave and to make sure the job get done the right way. No shortcuts. That's my brother. He calls me every day, every week, every day. My brother makes sure that that love line is hooked up and he reaches out to me. And I love him so much. It's a happy holidays to my brother Kenny. Evans Jr. When I say his name, I smile because this is my oldest brother and he bears dad's name, Father Evans' name. And the love that my brother Jr. exemplifies is beyond this planet. His intelligence, his um, stigma, his reputation. My brother always um, finds a way to have that heartbeat. It reminds me a lot of Mama, Mother Evans, because my brother Junior, he has the heart of my, my mom, Mother Evans, and then he has the, the mind of Father Evans and um, the will, the intellect. He's the smartest one I know. He's the genius of the family. Anybody can do taxes in their sleep. That's my brother. He's he's a genius. He's uh he's he's he, he can read something and get it and, and get it done real fast. And he loves the family. Happy holidays to my brother Junior. And um God is so good. David Evans, what made me do this? I was in a all-you-can-eat chicken wing contest, and guess what happened? And guess who won? 26 seconds remaining. Go, 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 go,
I'm gonna, I'm gonna help her out. Kaz, don't not, don't interrupt Kaz, because he is on a mission down there. He's going to be the King's Dominion. Kaz was talking a lot of smack before the competition, and he looks, he looks like he's a contender. I like the standing yeah, yeah. up here that Melinda's doing. Oh my goodness. Uh, Tom, you okay? Michelle and Melinda have assistance here. A shot on a couple of 2.45 from base. Stiff. That's a lot of wings. Chicken's good. Go for the ones that are really meaty. Forget the bone ones. Go for the meaty ones. Eat that meat. That's how you get the weight. That's how you get the weight. Remember, we get a bottle of water there to wash it down. You know, I've watched the Coney Island hot dog. That's right. Let's go for the water. 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 Let's go for the Oh, Dave, Dave's hiding out on the end down there. Dave getting it in. Chris, Chris knows what he's doing. Chris, Chris does not mess around. Thank you for watching this PIC TV Network special presentation. We hope that the insightful content provided valuable information and entertainment to our esteemed viewers. Your support and viewership are essential to the success of our network. To make a donation, go to watchpictv.com or scan the PIC TV QR code. Help us build the PIC TV Studio World Training Center.